so hello and welcome you all to sale to mds dental academy so as parents we are here with the part 12 of neat mds 2020 paper so we have seen in last 12 to 15 days all the important questions of your neat mds 2020 along with that we have seen the relative concepts and additional questions also so today is the third part of the image based question in part 10 11 12 i have just discussed the important images so friend, please go through each and every point any doubt you can contact me so let's start with the first image so identify the tooth shown in the picture so as friend, this is the primary molar and you can see if the root is behind it is the buccal aspect most of times students get confused between the buccal and palatal aspect so if you can see the root is seen ahead to your remaining two root that is mesial distal root it is the palatal aspect so here you can see the palatal aspect of maxillary first molar this is maxillary second molar it is mandibular first molar and this is mandibular second molar then as friend, this is a technique given here the dentist places an implant in upper anterior region of jaw he places a part of the root stem on the labial side of implant so you can see a part of root stem has been preserved on the labial side of the bone and then implant has been placed so which is the technique known as it is the socket shield technique then artery mark with the arrow is palpated at which point so you can palpate this artery at the zygoma region then identify the appliance it's a fixed appliance as we fixed functional appliance so this is the herbs appliance most of time we have not seen this fixed functional appliance so a lot of time we get confused so i put out few important appliance this is your uh, jasper jumper appliance this is your mara appliance and this is your churo jumper appliance as parents i have uploaded around six to seven videos on the different different subject of image based question description is given in the link as well as i button above so that will help you for the comprehensive learning in the examination so these three are your fixed functional appliances then identify in the figure points marked a and b so this a indicates your junctional epithelium and b indicates your oral epithelium then a 41 year old male on treatment for a candidiasis is developed this lesion on buccal mucosa it is present since three months and we have found cd4 current is very less around 180 cubic mm so what is the diagnosis it indicates the kaposi sarcoma now let's see the image based question on different type of flap here as parent i've explained all the important flap there is your undisplaced flap modified vitamin flap and the apical display flap. so whenever you are going for the flap treatment or such flap questions are asked two things are very important that is the base of the pocket and mucogingival junction these two important anatomical landmarks will help to evaluate the amount of attached gingiva left after surgery so in this you can see the most amount of attached gingiva is left so if attached gingiva is more the flap we use is undisplaced flap so this is the example of your undisplaced flap second thing you have to see the internal bevel incision so this internal bevel incision has been done at the base of the pocket fine so in undisplaced flap the internal bevel incision is initiated at or near a point just coronal to where the pocket is projected on the outer surface of gingiva so this flap shown here is your undisplaced flap now let us see the another flap that is a modified vitamin and a pical display flap so as friend i have told you two important landmark that is the mucogingival junction and base of the pocket so here you can see the attached gingiva is very less so whenever the attached gingiva is very less we go for the modified vitamin or the apical display flap and here the important change from your undisplaced flap is that here the incision is made very close to the tooth around 0.5 to 1 mm so this is the position for your modified vitamin and a buccal displaced flap buccally and palatally it is same like your undisplaced flap now understand the difference where all we are going to use such flap the modified vitamin flap is used to expose the root surface so when we expose the root surface we can go for proper root planning we can remove the pocket lining remember the modified vitamin flap is not used to eliminate or reduce pocket depth it is used to remove the pocket lining and to clean your root surface and when you go for the cleaning of root surface automatically the tissue shrinkage occur and reduction in pocket depth occur the undisplaced or unrepositioned flap it improves accessibility for instrumentation and along with that it also remove pocket wall 
remember undisplaced flap is a procedure which is known as excisional procedure of the gingiva then a pie displaced flap it provides accessibility and eliminates the pocket and it also does the pocket elimination by a pie positioning the soft tissue all of the pocket therefore it preserves or increases the width of attached gingiva by transforming the previously unattached keratinized pocket wall into attached tissue so please aspirant know the difference between the three important flaps of your periodontal surgery and also the location of their internal bevel incision now a 17 year old may report with painful eruption on lower lips since two days the patient gives no history of medical illness and is not a smoker but says he has been stressed due to exam recently so what is the diagnosis it is recurrent herpes labialis now identify the type of injury according to Ellis classification. So this is your Ellis class 3. Remember aspirant, a trauma lecture of 10 to 15 minutes has been uploaded on my YouTube. You can view them. It, it will be very helpful for you for examination. In this picture you can see Ellis class 3. Then identify the molar relation shown in the picture. So it's a very simple question. It is your angle class 1 malocclusion. Then a case report is there where a patient undergoes extraction of tooth 1-6. After a few months, the patient wants a restoration of the missing tooth with a prosthesis. So you take an IOPA. So in IOPA, you can see the blunting or root apex of 1-5 is there. The tooth has vital pulp, unchanged PDL with an intact lamina So what is the cause? It is a case of hyper cementosis. Then an adult male, 38 years old, reported with the swelling on back since many years. On examination, the swelling is soft to palpate and it edges sleep from under the fingers when pressed upon. So the diagnosis is lipoma. Then what type of bands are shown in figure? So in the figure, you can say aspirant second order band. Let us see the difference between the first, second and third order band. The first order band is known as buccolingual or labiolingual band that is an in and out band. It helps in rotational movement. The second order band is a tip band that is a mesodistal movement and third order band is a torque band. Then as the OPG of person is there showing the following anomaly on routine radiographic survey. So what this condition is known as it indicates taurodontism. Then identify the type of cartilage shown in diagram. So it is the example of hyaline cartilage. Let's see the difference between all three cartilage. So this is a hyaline cartilage where you can see the clearer looking ground substance. In fibrocartilage, we have densely layered collagen fibers and flattened and organized cell rows. Any elastic cartilage, you can see visible elastic fibers in the matrix. Then identify the appliance. This is the Frankel 3 appliance. It is a kind of removable myofunctional appliance. Then identify the points marked A and B. So this A indicate fenestration and this B is dehiscence. So aspirant, that was all from my side of 2020 paper. If you want need MDS 2020, 2019 paper and last minute reason note, which is very helpful for the one to two week before examination, you can DM me. And we are going to start from 20th new batch for the students. So anybody want demo lecture, they can WhatsApp me. So Esperian, now just a week has been left for examination. You have to gear up your preparation, keep on moving. And along with that, we are providing our students MCQ discussion. Every day we discuss on our WhatsApp group. Anybody want to join, they can WhatsApp me. Till then Esperian, take care. Tomorrow, the important video is coming from my side that how to attempt need mds 2021 paper so please keep on walking any doubt let me know till then all the best and take care my dear experience